Okay, hi there, Dr. Radical UA back again for more encoding help. Now, a couple people have asked me about MKVs and OGGs files, how to open those. Now, while I still say you should buy anime yourself um, and support the industry, that option, of course, I know it's not always available due to series not being out yet. So, if you do have to resort to using .mkvs, .o, uh, .oggs, etc., this is how you open them in Virtual Demon. It's actually quite simple. <clears throat> After you, of course, install the AMV app, if you're not sure what the AMV app is, refer to my um, DVD ripping guide. And, if anything, just type in to Google AMV APP AMV app it will be the first result you get download it install it wonderful program all free um, but yeah that will definitely help you okay first thing you do of course is open virtual dub mod next step is go to file open file via ABI synth go down to template and direct show source. Now sometimes the MKVs will not show up when you're searching for them so just go ahead and go to all files. So that way they show up of course. Be a bit hard to find them if you have a messy desktop or a messy folder but nonetheless. And let's see here. I will go ahead and here we go. I'll open this episode of a certain magical index. It might take a bit longer to open and then it's also loading a bit slowly because my computer and quite a few other programs in the background, but yes. Alright, there you go. See, it has opened up and now here is an episode of my beautiful Blu-ray Certain Magical Index. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Woo! And of course you follow the exact same steps you do as when you're ripping DVDs to prepare the footage. Uh, stream, streamless, disable the audio stream so the file is smaller. Uh, video filters if it needs to be deinterlaced. No, I don't remember if I covered deinterlacing in my last guide. But deinterlacing basically is the little lines that pop up when there's movement. But yes, you can deinterlace it and get rid of that ugly little problem. I'm going to deinterlace. Okay, blend fields together. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, most footage that you rip from DVDs is deinterlaced. Er, no. Uh, interlace, excuse me. So you might need to deinterlace it. Um, let's see here. Compression, depending on what you like, or if you have the space, I guess uncompressed. I personally work with Huffyev. Uh, Lagarith is a more preferable file um, container because it is also incompressed, as Huffyev is, and it creates smaller files while. Um, maintaining quality a slight bit better. There have been uh, people that can prove that, but either one will work fine. Depends on what your editing program likes best. And I still say Intel Indio 4.5 if you're working with Windows Movie Maker due to the fact that Windows Movie Maker has, I'm sorry, but it has really crappy compression settings. <clears throat> so you're going to lose uh, video quality no matter what you do. So with Intel Indio 4.5, you can encode footage that will be very, very small file sizes, and the quality is about equal to what you will get from encoding at the highest quality settings out of Windows Movie Maker. So anyways, it's it's that simple. And if you like any other help, oops, I'm intelligent here, I haven't turned my automatic updates on yet. Um, <laughs> but if you know you like the guide, if you want to encode, here you go. If you have any other questions, um, I don't actually check my Dr. Radical UI um, account that often, but I do have another account on YouTube with all of my AMVs, random videos from anime cons, etc. called uh, Radical X UA. Radical UA is, of course, my main account name. Um, go ahead and send along uh, your questions and comments. Either that or I'm available on AIM as just Radical UA. You can basically find me anywhere under this screen name. If you have any questions whatsoever, I will try to help. Um, please do not ask me where to download footage at all, <laughs> or music. Um, I can help you with anything involving Vegas, virtual dub mod, encoding. When it comes to encoding, I'm not the best, but I can tell you what works for me. And it's rather simplistic, since I'm a simplistic person. So yes, please go ahead, forward your comments, questions, etc. And have a wonderful evening. Thank you.